that he had told her everything, she sent a message to the Philistine rulers. Come here once more. She did this because Samson had told her everything. So the Philistine rulers arrived with the money in the hand. She calls them once again. And she tells them she has him for sure this time. Yeah, yeah, I got him this time. I can imagine the men saying, yeah, right, Delilah. We've been there several times. And every time we get there, you tell us you got him. Every time you get there, you tell him the Philistines are upon you. He jumps up and he knocks us out. He beats us up and he stabs us and beats us down. Every time you tell us that we come, he said, yeah, but this time, bring your money this time. This is the real deal. I got him. I put the woo woo on him. I, I fixed him right on up. I, I got him. So the enemy can't wait to say he got us. Yeah, the enemy can't wait to say, uh huh, I got them right where I want them. I, I put them right where they need to be. And the Bible says that Delilah put Samson to sleep on her lap. I preached the message a long time ago. You better watch where you lay your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samson put the lie put him to sleep on her lap. Samson literally laid his head in the devil's lap. Yeah, yeah. The devil put him to sleep. Can I go there for a second? The devil doesn't come to you openly. He'll come to you overtly to you because he knows that you would resist him because the Bible said resist the devil and he'll flee from you. And so he knows that he comes straight up to you and say, hey, I'm the devil. You're going to say, get deep behind me, Satan. Yeah, y'all know how Satan is. He don't come overtly, but he comes undercover. He comes converted to you. He comes converted. And before you realize that you laid your head in his lap, he, he got that fellow on a hot sauce bottle with the pitchfork in his hand because then you be able to know him when he comes. But the devil doesn't show up and say, I'm the devil. The devil slowly gets you the way he wants you. That great preacher prophet by the name of Jeremiah, right? he said something concerning sheep. And because we're all sheep, I think it pays to listen to it. He said, he said if a sheep gets six feet away from where it was, that it can't find its way back. If a sheep gets six feet away from where it was that it can't find its way back. Why? Because there's three things you need to understand about sheep. Three characteristics that you need to understand about sheep is first that they're dumb, they're dirty, and they're dangerous. So, sheep are so dirty they can give you can give them a bath and they'll get right back in the dirt. How many of you know that Jesus washed us with his blood but we got right back? In the dirt. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm dirty, but, but the blood washes me. Every time he washes me, somehow or another I find myself. But not only are they dirty, they're dangerous. They will hurt themselves, fall right into a pit. Most of the stuff that has happened in my life, I can't talk about y'all, wasn't what somebody else did to me. It wasn't somebody else hurt me, but, but most of the stuff that happened in my life, I did it to myself. I can't blame nobody for whatever state I'm in. Because I made the decision. I jumped up. I fell in the ditch. And now the Lord reached way down. Are they dirty? Not only are they dangerous, but thirdly, they're dumb. They, they're so dumb that they will drift away from their shepherd, drift away from safety, uh, six feet away from where they are, and they can't find their way back. Uh, can I tell you that the devil just isn't going to snatch you uh, because you'll notice that. Uh, but what he's going to do is move you uh, one foot at a time. Uh, the reason he's going to move you one foot at a time uh, is because you will not realize that you're drifting. Uh, you, you won't realize that you're slowly getting away. Uh, you won't realize that the devil is slowly pulling you away. Uh, you're slowly getting you to stop coming to church. Uh, you're slowly getting you to stop reading your word. Uh, you're stop 
praying, <laughs> listening more to secular than the gospel, <laughs> looking more at television than praying, <laughs> getting involved in everything else, <laughs> and slowly you're drifting away, <laughs> foot by foot. <laughs> After a while, you find out you're out of place, you're six feet away, and you don't know how to get back. Thank <laughs> you. 